Okay, let's talk about the VCA and the envelope. What Roland has done that is cool, and a lot of other synthesizer manufacturers actually do and have done, is create a situation where, okay, if there's only one envelope, you can use the one envelope to control both the VCA and the VCF at the same time. We have that functionality uh, if we have it set to envelope. So now the single envelope is directed to the VCA to control it. And if you have it on in the filter, it's controlling that as well. And that's fine, that's a great sound, and a lot of synthesizers, uh, vintage synthesizers, implement that functionality. But what Roland has done is they've given you a little bit more opportunity to give your uh, envelope modulated filter a little more punch. You can switch the VCA to gate. So then it operates like an organ where as long as the key is depressed, it's on, and when that key is released, it's off. That's all there is to it. There's no envelope, it's just on, off. And that way, you can get more punchy sort of bass sounds where the envelope's only controlling the filter cutoff point and it's not controlling the amp. The amp's just like pow off. Of course, if we had the same setting, it would have certainly more amp articulation, but it wouldn't have, it wouldn't be the, the basically the bass sound or the bass patch that you just had. So having this switch is really helpful because if you want to make a nice soaring, uh, you know, synth lead, you certainly can use the envelope to give it expressiveness. But if you want a really cool bass sound that has, you know, full on punch uh, without the limitation that, uh, you know, the envelope would give the VCA as far as punch, you can switch it to gate, which is awesome. Okay, so. You have the ability uh, over here in the envelope. Uh, they have some functionality here that's really cool. If you have it set to gate, you're basically getting the gate created by the keys. Which is the typical way that it is activated. You can also switch it to gate and trig, which is trigger. Which in that case, I think it can be triggered by the external click in um, or by other functionality like the sequencer. So basically, if you're using the arpeggio or some other functionality and you just have it on gate, only the keys will activate the, the envelope. So for example, since we're having our filter modulated uh, by the envelope, we'd only get the initial trigger of the envelope for the sound. So it would sound like this. Of course, the filter is closing, we're losing the sound. If we switch it to gate and trigger, then the envelope is triggered every time one of the pulses comes from the arpeggiator. As well as when you play. 
So that's what the gate and the trigger does. And then we have something really cool that is not typical for a synthesizer of this type. We can trigger the envelope with the LFO. Let's turn off the arpeggiator. So that makes a lot of, uh, that. that's a really cool functionality. Now I don't know if this is true, but if you use, if the external click in affects the LFO rate, and it does say click rate, so if that's true, then you can, you can sequence, uh, you can time the LFO triggering this filter, you can time the LFO triggering this envelope to a tempo. which is cool. And I'm sure that is the source of a lot of things that happen in various genres. And if we switch the VCA to uh, gate, then the amp is just open every time you press a key and the LFO triggered envelope is just affecting the filter. That's really interesting. <laughs> so the random effect, which is uh, the random effect is modulating the filter and uh, the envelope is modulating the filter and the LFO rate is triggering the envelope to get this sound. It's pretty much writing itself, which is either offensive or extremely cool. Who knew an envelope could be so much fun? And of course, you have an ADSR envelope, which is awesome. Uh, that you know, you've been seeing me use it during most of these demonstrations already. Attack, decay, sustain, release. So that is that's. It's nice that if there's going to be one envelope, that it is an ADSR, and that it has all of this functionality provided here by the switch and the switchable VCA. So that is those are the envelope and VCA of the Roland SH-101.